In this video, I'm going to show you how to pack two coffee mugs to ship, two IKEA mugs that sold on eBay. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to pack two coffee mugs, not one. And if you can pack two, you most certainly can pack one. I'm going to show you how it's quite easy. But before we get started, I'm going to jump over to my YouTube channel, Avante Avenue, and show you where you can find all of the pack and ship videos that I put out, as well as almost 80 other videos that I put out. So with that said, let's get started. Oh, thank you. Now, let's get started. When you go to YouTube, just type in at the top Avante Avenue, A-V-A-N-T-E, just like you see it here. You'll see Home, Videos, and Playlist. And to find specific playlists, click on Playlist. And if you scroll on down to the third row, you will find my pack and ship videos. So click on View the Full List. And here you go. Here's my list of pack and ship videos. I've packed a creamer and sugar. I've packed a Santa Claus planter. I've packed an apothecary jar. Well, you can see here I've packed quite a few things. And be sure to watch number six, my double bubble shipping hack, because you might need to use that sometime if the weight is coming in just a little bit over what you charge the buyer for. I can show you a little tip on how maybe you can back off on that shipping a little bit to avoid double boxing. So I hope you check out these pack and ship videos as well as my other videos. I have quite a few for you to watch. Maybe you can have a marathon of minutes watching my videos and help me reach my goal of 240,000 minutes watched. We're making progress. I share reseller tips, have candid chats, invite you to shop with me, and I'd like to show you my hauls. So quite a variety of videos for you to watch if you're a reseller. I resell on eBay, Macari, and Poshmark, but eBay is where I get most of my sales. And let's jump over to eBay just for a minute here. I'll show you the two IKEA mugs that sold. I was asking $39.97, but I accepted an offer of $30. I didn't think that was too bad for two coffee mugs that I think I spent um, maybe a dollar for, maybe 50 cents a cup. I think this is a pretty good profit. And the buyer paid about $15 in shipping. So let's get these cups packed to ship. I went ahead and left the label on the bottom. Why not? They're from Ikea. The first thing we're going to do is put some tissue paper in the bottom of the cup. You could fill the whole cup up with tissue paper, but to reduce the weight, I decided to do part tissue paper and part bubble wrap. And we want to protect that handle, so let's just take a small piece of tissue paper and scrunch it down and fit it in the handle. I also use pool noodles. You know those swimming pool noodles? I happen to have a purple one on hand. You want to cut a little wedge out of it so there's room for that handle to fit snugly inside the wedge. And just slip that pool noodle right over the handle. And do that for both mugs. But we need to finish filling up that coffee cup. I like to use large half inch bubble wrap. I buy it by large rolls, you know, really large rolls, and I get it typically about 250 feet at a time. I do shop it on eBay, sometimes Amazon. You know it can be very expensive. You want to get the best price by, by finding out what the square foot price is. So divide the square feet, in this case 250 square feet, into the price to, to know how much you're paying per sheet. half sheet is kind of tight, so let's cut that in half again. And it doesn't really want to stay there, but that's okay. We're going to wrap some tissue paper around here soon and we'll make it stay. Just using a plain sheet of tissue paper here, we want to protect the finish on the cup. And just using regular tape. So let's just wrap that up real nice and give it a little piece of tape. Pretty 
pretty easy so far, right? And just repeat the process for the other cup, adding some large bubble wrap on top of the tissue paper, and then roll it in tissue paper and tape it as well. The pool noodle that we're using is really going to make a nice cushion for that handle. And a lint roller helps keep the work area clean. It's time to get some more large bubble. At least two sheets per cup should work good. Just start at one end and roll the bubble wrap over the cup and tape it off with packing tape. Be sure to tape both ends as well and, and I call those little ends wings. I like to leave those extended. It adds extra cushion in the box. And just repeat the process for the other mug. But we want to check everything. You want to put your hands all over it. Check all the sides, the top, the bottom. Make sure there's not any hard surfaces. Where the bubble wrap is seamed, sometimes those bubbles are flattened a little bit. So if it is, you're going to want to add a little extra bubble wrap. And that's what happened in this case. We're going to add one more sheet of bubble wrap. If you can feel the coffee mug, then the bubble wrap isn't doing its job. So that's why I'm saying always check it always feel it and make sure that it's completely covered. With this additional piece of bubble wrap, let's turn it on the diagonal so that we can tape it on where it needs to be taped and the areas that need protected. Just using packing tape again. And repeat the process for the other cup. They are both nicely wrapped. Now we need to find the box. Let's stand the cups up and get the approximate width and height and see what size box we need. What size box do you think we need for this? These two cups have a very wide mouth, so we're going with a 9 by 9 by 9 square box. I think a square box works really well to ship two coffee mugs. Other sizes could work too, but we're going to use a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine box for these cups. This is a 32 ECT edge crush test. That means each corner of the box is rated to withstand 32 pounds of pressure on the corners. You always want to use a rated box with an ECT number at the bottom for shipping fragile items. Otherwise, it could be an inner box, which is not an outer box, which is not good for shipping. But I will say that the USPS doesn't put ratings on their boxes. I think they are 32 ECT edge crush test, but they don't put the ratings on the boxes. We probably could get by with a smaller box, but because of the width when the cups are side by side, we needed the nine inches width. So we have a little more height than what we need, but we'll fill that in. Let's take two pieces of bubble wrap, two sheets each, and lay them crosswise in the box. It's gonna give us two layers of extra bubble wrap in the bottom before we even place the cups inside. As we place the cups inside, let's say these are the handles. We are going to place them opposite of each other. And don't forget your thank you note, well at least I'm including a thank you sticker on the package. We have some extra room on top, don't want that. You don't want things to move around. So let's add another sheet of bubble wrap doubled up on top. So basically now we have 
two extra layers of half inch bubble wrap on the bottom, two extra layers of half inch bubble wrap on top, and the mugs themselves have two pieces of bubble wrap. So close it up, shake it up, see if you have anything moving around inside. If not, you're good to go. Get it taped up, and you know what? Get it in the mail. So we've done a pretty good job of packaging these. I do suggest you cross tape it and also put a little piece of tape on this side seam of the box. It's good to go. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate it. Thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to receive notifications on future videos. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Avante Avenue, and subscribe. And yes, check out all the other pack and ship videos that I have. You know, packing and shipping fragiles can seem intimidating but it doesn't have to be. We can do it together. Thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon.